Now at 6, your local election headquarters turns to the familiar name back in the presidential race. Former Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee filed paperwork last night forming a new Chafee for President campaign committee. And he's changing parties again. Eyewitness News Politics Editor Ted Nisi spoke with Chafee this afternoon. He joins us now with what the former governor had to say. Ted? Shannon, great to have you back. Well, Lincoln Chafee's been a Republican U.S. Senator, an independent governor, and a Democratic presidential hopeful. Now he wants to add a new affiliation to his resume. This time around, Chafee's planning to seek the Libertarian Party presidential nomination. He tells me he's been considering this move for months, but he decided to pull the trigger after watching the turmoil unfolding in the Middle East in recent days. He blames the crisis in no small part on the 2003 invasion of Iraq, which he voted against, but which Democratic presidential frontrunner Joe Biden voted for. If your candidacy were to help reelect Donald Trump, is that a risk you're prepared to take? I hear that, but uh, I think these issues are too important. The Democrats and Republicans have been terrible on the war. They've continued through Obama and Biden, eight years of Obama and Biden, civil liberties, whether it's drone strikes, torture, uh, warrantless surveillance. Uh, extraordinary rendition, which is kidnappings. Uh, these all continued under Obama Biden. Striking criticism in part because Chafee was a co-chair of the 2012 Obama Biden re-election campaign. Based on the criticism, I asked whether that was a mistake. He told me he has no regrets. Chafee's expected to make his campaign official on Wednesday morning in Washington. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.